Welcome to the Several Nines product video and today we will demonstrate to you the MySQL replication features of Cluster Control. Cluster Control supports both master-slave replication and multi-master replication. In this product demonstration we will also show you how to deploy both of them, but we only show you the managing and monitoring of a master-slave topology. For the deployment of such a topology, we first go to the deployment screen where we can deploy either an existing database or create a whole new database. If we would create a whole new database, we would be able to go to the first step, define the SSH key, second step, define what we're going to deploy. Then we provide a very secure root password. And if we would continue, we would have the choice to either create a master, attach a slave to it, or add a second master. So we would here say something like node one. And here we would say slave one. And if we want to add a second master, we can do node two and slave two. And then we would be able to deploy this topology. Once we have deployed our topology, we are able to look at it in the overview of the cluster, where we have the most important metrics available for MySQL replication, including replication lag. In the overview, we would see the difference between master nodes and slave nodes. We would see how far the slave nodes are lagging behind. And if we go to the notes page, where we would dive into these nodes individually, we can see that we have a master and we have two read copies. For the master, we can do the normal operations like restart the node, reboot the host, or enable read only of, or change replication master. If we would go to the read copy, we would have an extra option. The extra option would be promote this slave to become the new master or rebuild the replication slave from the existing master. Then for uh, other differences between uh, these topologies, inside a backup we would have the normal backup features available. However, we would be able to schedule backups, creating a backup from one of the slave nodes instead of the master node. Under management, we would be able to configure them individually and then we would see which one is master, which one is slave, that at least we know which configuration we're changing. Then the last thing that I want to highlight uh, in the master-slave replication is the adding of a node and a load balancer. So we can easily add a new node and in this case we would be adding a node to a current master and if we would add a slave underneath this master, that's the way to do it. Um, we also would be able to add a load balancer to this topology. We have either HAProxy, MaxScale or Proxy SQL. And for all three of them, we have full deployment support. As you can see, this topology already contains a HAProxy node and a Proxy SQL load balancer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope our demonstration was clear enough. If you have any additional questions or comments, just leave them below or get in touch with us via chat on severalnines.com.